name is Mr. Ivanovich and today I'm going to show you how to load Avatars 3.0 to VR chat. For this you will need this version of Unity, the current SDK, your model in FBX, the textures and additional things if you need. In here I will show you how to download the current SDK. In the VR chat page on the left side you will see downloads and then on the right you will see SDK 3 avatar. Assuming that you have your Unity ready, we will select new project with the highlighted version. Select 3D template, the name of the project and the save location. If you have problems with the Unity installation let me know in the comments below, so I can make a tutorial. With Unity open we'll import the model, the textures and the additional packages. Importing the VRChat SDK at last. With the model in the project, select it and go to the right side to the model tab. Click on legacy blend shapes and apply. Go to the Rig tab, select Humanoid, Configure and Apply. On the right menu, click on Chest and select the corresponding chest bone. After that, select the head, click on Jaw and select None. Apply it and in the tab Muscle and Settings, click on the first slider to test the model. If it works, it should move like this. Now the model will move correctly in VR chat. Finally, click on the material tabs and extract the materials to a new folder. This is done for organization. Drag and drop the model to the left hierarchy so we can assign the correct materials to the model. Now we have to add a 1 meter cube to know if the model is near the correct size. Import the other Unity packages, in my case Dynamic Bones and Poijomi Toon Shader. The last thing that you need to import is the VRChat SDK3. If you want to change all your materials at the same time, select them and click on shader and change it. In my case, my model have some blend shape corrections, so here is where I am going to change them. Or if you want to change anything else before, you can do it in here. With the model ready, select it on the left side so we can add component and write avatar descriptor. This is the important component. First of all, we'll select the viewpoint and click on edit, so we can move it with the arrows. It has to be in the middle of the eyes. And for avatars with big heads, it should be way in the front. For the model to talk, we'll select Leak Sync and select Bison Blend Shapes. Drag and drop the geometry where the mouth moves and it should be set up already. If not, assign them manually. Now go to Eye Look, enable it and select the corresponding bones. In the hierarchy on the left, you select it until you find left eye and right eye. Drag and drop them to a corresponding space, so we can define the limits where it looks up, it looks down, left and right. You have the control of how much it will move in each side. All tutorials on how to import the models will still work. You just have to pay attention on the new avatar descriptor. Finally, select eyelids and select blend shapes. Drag and drop your mesh with the blink animation and remember that now it should be both eyes at the same time. If you have look up and look down, assign them and test it. And there you go, your model is set up. Finally, we'll select the VR chat SDK, go to show control panel, sign in, and remember, you need to be at least new user to upload content. In the builder menu, if there's an error, auto fix it. Click Build and Publish, wait until the model is ready, move the window and in the game screen, select the name of your avatar, check if you want it private or public and select the checkbox down below. You can select the VR cam to adjust the thumbnail and add a signature. And ready, your model is in VR chat. Just open your menu, click on Avatars and select your latest model in My Creations and change it. Here is the model working in-game, you can move your right hand, your left hand, the mouth is working when I talk, it blinks and move the eyes. Do you see it? Now go on and have fun with your model, moving your hands, your body and whatever you like. This setup has the original VRChat emotes. Now with the next tutorial we'll see the new possibilities of VRChat. Thanks so much for watching the video and we'll see you later.